Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. And Easter greetings. And springtime greetings. Yes. <laughs> like my hat? <laughs> I do like your hat. <laughs> well, I'm Barb. And I'm Leanne. And this is Lost, Lost in Floss. Floss. Leanne, how come you have a sign on instead of an Easter bonnet? <laughs> because I do not wear hats. <laughs> well, and I told Barb wanted to wear hats, and I said, Barb, she said, well, then wear a sign. I'm like, okay. Well, <laughs> she didn't think I'd bring one. I didn't think she would have a sign. Well, I came fresh from the dollar store last night. <laughs> and I thought for a buck, you know, why not? Yeah. I was going to make a sign, and then I'm like, oh, by the time I got home, I needed to do an FFO. And so I thought, I'm just going to buy her this sign. And we'd rather see an FFO than for you to make a sign. That's true. So, so. But I was going to use, like, Peeps sliced in half. I thought that'd be kind of cute. I love peeps. <laughs> I hate peeps. <laughs> All right. So, people, are you peeps? Fan of peeps? Or... Peep or no peep? No peep. No peep. I'm when peep. I, when... But I'm a traditional peep. Oh, yellow? Like I, well, I, you know, they have chocolate and oh. different, you know, I just like the traditional peeps. I want once worked with two women who who got all excited and they called me into the one's office and they're like oh you gotta try this you gotta try this and i'm like what is it and they're like well you like peeps don't you <laughs> i'm like no i really i really don't like peeps i like a lot of things but i mean i'd eat one if i was starving but i wouldn't search them out and and we know peeps would really fill you up right if you were starving right so anyways what they were doing in this office with the door closed was they had peeps and they had marshmallow cream and they were dipping the peeps in the marshmallow cream i'm like okay i'll try it just 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 because you're so gung-ho on this but no. it was disgusting i'm like if i don't like a peep to begin with why would i like it dipped do, you, in do you like marshmallow cream i don't I don't, like, I never buy it. I don't know what I'd use it for. Oh, I, this fall, I made apple nachos. Oh, now, see, like that. I mean, cause <laughs> I like, I like marshmallows in a s'more. So okay. it's not that I'm anti So did you ever see that? You slice oh, apples and put it on a plate? Did you make that for one of our... Oh, I made, yeah. Maybe I did. Yeah, And I then you, so. then I put marshmallow cream in, in a piping thing and piped it on top of the apples. Mm. Uh, caramel goes on top. Um, Heath Bar, oh, Heath Bar chips hmm. go on top, yeah. and then mini chocolate chips. Okay. It sounds like a lot, but I mean you don't like, glob it on. Wait, what's the base again? Apples. apples. Oh yeah, healthy. It's, it's very good. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my. Well, off, and I, I guess I will take my lovely hat off. Well, I said she should have to wear that hat. See, longer. it's got quite the tail on it, but. Um. Yeah, you gotta kind of show here. Hmm. Gotta show the front of it or the side. It is very it's got beautiful. A, it's got a poof. Yeah. It is my sun hat normally. Because I do. I do <laughs> with the purple on the back? No. <laughs> Not with anything. It's got a cute little. It's got a, it's got a like, just a, Oh, that's see, cute. Um, you know. <laughs> so if, if I'm somewhere tropical, I'll sometimes have it on. Just to protect from the sun. With the netting. <laughs> yeah. Not, no, netting is not part of it. So. Oh, man. Here we go. It's here gonna we go. It's going to be a good one, I'll warn you. Yeah, I think, I think this is going to be a good one. We got It's some... our Easter parade. <laughs> Come on, Leanne, March. <laughs> okay. I don't wear hats. <laughs> she doesn't I march. I don't march. Well, I'm not really marching. What do I'm, you do? I'm just pretending to march. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, last time we asked if you had any questions for mm -hmm. us, and so we got we got a good variety of questions. Mm -hmm. And I think one one somebody wanted to know: Do you like meatloaf? I do. I do like meatloaf. <laughs> I like regular meatloaf, and I like Sicilian meatloaf. Oh, what's Sicilian meatloaf? You make it, um, you flatten out the meatloaf dough, and then you put, like, ham and mozzarella cheese, and I don't know if there's a few other things. You roll it up. You mean, like, to put the hamburger? Oh, flat. flat. So then you roll it up like a spiral. Oh, my gosh. And it's in there. It's really good. Oh, that sounds really good. I'll have to good. give you the recipe. Yeah. Or maybe it's in my mom's cookbook. It might oh, be. Yeah. Look for it. Then I'll look. Yeah, because I've made a couple things out mm -hmm. for a cookbook. Okay, so 
<laughs> Barb's mom has a cookbook, which is very good. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, so here are the questions. Kathy from To Die House asked, Hi, Can I just come and spend an afternoon in your craft room with you? Yes. Oh, sure. <laughs> And if there's that room, there's kind of like a little overhang on the roof. We'll open the window and you yeah. can just sit out there. <laughs> but we'll make room for you, Kathy. Don't worry. <laughs> so, and then Mary Jo asked, how do you take specialty floss off the cards to use them? I don't, me personally, I don't do anything fancy at all. I keep all my flosses in floss away bags. I write the name and the brand. Let's see. So the I, name and what kind it is on the bag. Um, it's on a card that I cut to fit the bag. I was just gonna ask, do you co-mingle your brands or do you No, keep them I I do I keep them separate and I do it by alphabetical order. Okay, that's how I do mine. So I have a piece like this. I know people do some fancy thing, but I don't. I just take it off. I t I'll take one strand off. I just pulled it right from the bend. It comes off very easily. I roll it back up on my finger. I put it on top of the card and it goes in the front part of the bag. So I know once it's off the card, I know that this part of this is used. Then whatever I have left over I'll do the same thing. I'll just kind of wrap it around my finger and I'll put it in the back of the bag. Then I know it's not a full skein of whatever you use. And that's what I, that's all that's I do. Perfect. Then when I have a project, I have a ring. All my flosses are on a floss away bag. Which I'm thrilled. Yeah. So. And I think that's kind of a nice number yeah. to... It's, kind of roll it's enough but not too much mm -hmm. <laughs> for I me agree. at least i agree so then um i gotta put my glasses on to see so hopefully that'll answer your question mary Jo. three um, hours later <laughs> i know uh linda and it must be linda stitches from linda stitches um have you two gone on a vacation together oh yes more than one yeah um, we went to Las Vegas. We went to Las Vegas. Together. We've been to Shawana together. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun times. Las Vegas was with husbands, yeah. too, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. But Shipshawana, we've been <laughs> yeah, a we couple to, of times. Yeah, we used to go every year. Um, and the one time we took our moms. Oh, yeah. Which was a lot like, of fun. More than once, I thought. Didn't we? Did we do it more than I once? Thought, I thought we did. Probably. Yeah, because yeah, your mom kind of knew the ropes and That's true, because she well. had been there before. Right. But the one time, I just remember the one time we went in, I had a Toyota. <laughs> yes. Celica. Oh, do you have pictures of that? Oh. No. Camry. Camry. I had a Camry. And <laughs> we bought so much stuff that... I was the only comfortable person in the car. Everybody had stuff on their laps. And who had the ark? Well, I don't remember. And Noah's ark. Was that my mom? Mom or your mom that had to set this wooden oh, Noah's know. ark on their lap? I just remember we had those long uh, shelf quilt rack things oh. through the center of the car. <laughs> like, you were in your own little section and you did not move very no. much. No, and, and I, I got to say, I am a really good packer. You are. You know, so it got to the point where <laughs> the trunk was so full, we go to a store and we're like, you can only buy like towels or soft things that we can shove <laughs> in the corners of the... Yeah, it was filled to the hill. And then yeah. then we took the van, remember the big van that went Oh, here? that's right. When I almost took out the car. <laughs> I'm driving through like the field you park in and all of a sudden everyone's yelling, stop! <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, oh, what's going on? And they're like, you're fine. Just don't turn to the right anymore or you're going to take off this car. <laughs> I, I really didn't realize how far back this conversion van went. Yeah, I mean, it was it was big. You know, then I could just pull forward and I was yeah. fine, but uh, so. I'll never forget that one. <laughs> well, and that one, the one time, oh, we went, your parents went. Oh. And we went to that craft fair. Remember what I said? <gasps> 
we just, I think we were going home maybe and we were stopping and I said, well, how long could a craft fair take? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it yeah. It took hours. Well, was that when Betty was with us? It might have been. Mom's yeah, yeah, it might have been. And I think for some reason, I think Monica, your sister, yeah, was with she, us. And your dad. She, well, if there was, you know, maybe seven. So that yeah. would make sense. Yeah. Because well, Barb's dad, he was, he oh, was always he, good he, to go. <laughs> he was great. You know, the father of five daughters, like. He didn't necessarily like to shop, but as long as we took him out to lunch, yeah, he loved to to come along. He'd just sit on a bench, and honestly, I never realized like how great it was because like we would just park him at a mall, and then we would keep bringing our bags mm -hmm. back to him, and then he'd take him out to the car. Yeah. So it wasn't like you ever were having these shopping trips where you were like Lugging could things. hardly yeah. carry anything. Um, yeah, no, and he, and he never complained. No. I mean, he wouldn't be, like, like hovering over you no. when you were shopping. He would be sitting outside. Just watching people. Just, yeah, <laughs> and then you come with bags. Oh, looks like you did a good job shopping there. <laughs> and, and, you know, then we'd be off to the next store, right. and he would just take the bags to the car. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. I love that it service. Was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have that anymore, so, uh, but... Yeah. Yeah. Good memories. Mm, so, but it, it's been a while since we've been on I know, so together. we'll just have to change that. I know. Maybe go to Vegas. There we go. <laughs> Jim was talking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going for Jack's birthday, I think. Oh, fun. I, but not until after his birthday, because oh. he has well, school. Oh, all right. So, oh, <laughs> Michelle, Maine Moose Stitcher, wants to know how often we walk around the landfill barefoot. <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I never have. I have to say, I never have either. So why be so concerned about your needles? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah. I, I just, I cracked up at that one, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> and then Vicky said, what made you two decide to do a floss tube vlog together? Hmm. I envision a lot of chit chat before and after taping. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, well. After, beforehand, no, not so much. Usually we, we just, just go for it. Yeah, that's why we ramble on, is yeah. because we don't <laughs> just, really talk before. And we don't talk between either. Like, we text. Yeah. But it's not like we're on the phone or whatever. Unless unless I, I can't text anymore, <laughs> and then I'll call her and go, okay. <laughs> or once in a while, she'll FaceTime me. Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, she's seen me at my worst. Yeah. I'll answer. Well, it's like, I don't want to text. Well, usually, if, if I do that, I'll show my ceiling, you know, or, and then you well, don't have to look at me. And one time, I think it was because I was asking you finishing questions oh, yeah. or something. It was so, so much easier. It was a lot easier. Because yeah. it's like, well, do you like this or that? And it's great. Yeah. So what made us decide to do... I don't know. I think we were both thinking we about do, it individually, we and then you mentioned something to me, and I'm like, oh, well, it would be fun. And I don't know who was watching even Floss Tube first. I think you were. I think you were. But I didn't know, and maybe did I tell you? You told me, because I remember like you came to visit us at our cabin, and then okay, you were telling me a couple... Couple, oh, um, that's right. People things to, to watch. watch. Yeah, because yeah. you were working on your stocking. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Probably. So and then maybe you showed me other things that you were gonna work on, and then that's how you started. And then it's like once you watch Floss Tube, then you're like, Oh, oh yeah. I see. It's the I want this. Hole. I want that one. And <laughs> yeah. And then we just kind of. Kind of almost said it together. Mm -hmm. We should do a floss tube. And then all of a sudden, we were doing a floss tube. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, yeah. And it, it's just been fun. Yeah. And it's been fun spending time, more time together. Well, yeah, because otherwise we wouldn't see each other for a couple, couple of months. A yeah. couple of months, Sometimes, you know. Yeah. So. so, and with us, it's like, it doesn't make any difference how far away, no. how far apart you are. <laughs> It seems like we were just together yesterday when right. we see each other. Right. So, Okay, well, that was a good one. Okay, Ethan wanted to know, how often do you get together to stitch? <laughs> this I just chuckled at because you're, you're not going to believe this answer. I'll yeah, you no, it. I'll let you go ahead because I asked. I don't think we've ever stitched together. We have never stitched together. Isn't that, that is, it was funny when I thought about it. I'm like, hmm. Like if you're if you're talking cross stitch, we have never, never stitched no. together. Crafting stuff right. like stuffing and and you know gluing. Stuff and fluff. 
<laughs> Stuffing and puffing, like gluing and yeah. things like that. We did that, and that's years ago right, right. that we would do it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, cross-stitch, we've never... And that's why I think we need to do that someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fun. Do it, and we should do it live. Do a, Maybe a we live could. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> so, okay. Um, then, Heather. What fabric are you using for Pia Santas? Um, I am using the Davos Khaki 18 count. Yep. Whatever it calls for, that's what I'm using. Yep. And so... And then Nadine, she had a couple of them. Any guilty pleasures? Hmm. I feel no guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, hmm. I, I yeah, I don't really like. I'm not. I don't know. Like, I, what? How, what's a guilty pleasure? Well, like, maybe a dumb TV show. Oh. Or <laughs> I mostly watch Floss Tube now. I watch Floss Tube. I watch All the Housewives. Oh, I used Still, to. I've been watching Netflix, like, old um, series. Old series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just finished um, Versailles, which... Was it good? The story was very good. If you could get through the torture oh. and the sex then the storyline is good. Mm -hmm. so, well, I would think, like, just the showing of the palace and... It was how it was built. Oh. It was Louis XIV. Oh, the 14th. oh yeah. now that might interest me. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> like I said, you know, if you could get past those two things. And I'm stitching, so I... So I put my head down when they're yeah. torturing people, you know. Well... Because <laughs> this is, like, the 15 or 16... 15 and 1600s. Yeah. So there was a lot of torture going well, on. And that's how, like, my younger co workers tell me about Game of Thrones. Yeah, I heard about and that. And I'm like, really? You think I'd, I'd like it? And they're like, I guarantee you that you would like it. And mm -hmm. everybody I know who watches it, like, is obsessed with yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, Terry, mm -hmm. she had gotten the. Um, the first season series okay. on tape. And she told me, I got to give this to you because I think you're really going to like it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I haven't gotten it oh. yet. But <laughs> so, but yeah, I probably, would, I probably would like that. As long as the story is good, yeah, then I'm fine. Eating ice cream up north, I guess that's a guilty pleasure because yeah. they have the best cones at our little local But do you ice feel cream guilty partner? eating that? A no. little bit because honestly, <laughs> Goodness, if I can find the picture of the cone. Oh. <laughs> uh, we we asked for, like, singles, and here's the cone. And I think the top was up here. It was, like, humongous. But then, you know, going the next time, it's like, oh, I have a single. Because <laughs> it's so good. Well, and sometimes you just want just a bite. No. I'm... I wish restaurants would offer bites. Bites? My niece mm. always wanted to open a bite sized bakery. Oh, that, see, that would be perfect. You could try several things. Yeah. Favorite recipe? Mm. My favorite easy recipe for like main dish would be my chicken chili. I know oh, I you love have that. that. It's so easy and it's just yummy. And Yeah, I love that. In fact, I just bought stuff to make it last night when I was at the store. <laughs> And I, I will eat that for breakfast, lunch, and supper. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had it for breakfast. Yeah, but, I'll eat um, that for any breakfast. Any other time of the day. I love it. I like I'll always make a double batch. So I have some to throw in the freezer. And I never thought about that. Yeah, yeah I, and I, I mean, I don't get up at 6 in the morning either. Oh, no. I eat breakfast. No. Um, <laughs> so I don't, my favorite recipe, I don't know what my favorite recipe is. You know, maybe the meal recipe is lasagna. Because I always lasagna. make that for Christmas Eve. And I think it was from my husband's roommate. <laughs> Got it, I think, like out of a family circle or something. Oh, my. That's funny. It's a very easy recipe, mm -hmm. and it just turns out good. Mm -hmm. And the last time, I made it two days before, but mm -hmm. I didn't bake it. I just put it together right. two days before. 
everybody complimented me on how good it was. Oh, so that's so good I'm to like, know. okay, I'm gonna try it a week before. <laughs> no, not really. I've already, but... fr- I've already thrown it in the freezer, wrapped it really well. Oh, see, I never did that. And that's kind of nice because then you can pull it out. And oh, it's that, just as that'd good. be a good idea. I've frozen it after I cooked it. You know, like if we had mm-hmm. too much left over. Although this last Christmas, I made two of them. We had, I mean, maybe a <laughs> well, you two or three slices. Lots of young boys, oh, yeah. not boys, men. But then I make like a non-meat right. penny pasta thing too. But yeah. yeah. What's your favorite dessert recipe? Oh, um, Mike's cheesecake. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> My husband makes a really good cheesecake. Really good. Yeah. What uh, about yours? Um, I like that one um, caramel apple tort. That you made. The Is that with that, cream cheese? It's like a flatter. It's like you slice the spice cake into. Oh, okay. You yeah, made yeah. it already. Yeah. That was the picture. The picture I used in my book. Yeah. Um, That's really good. Yeah. I can't remember. I haven't made it for a while, but um, you slice the cake layers and then you fill them with stuff and it has caramel and pecans. Yeah, and it's really it's good. good. But because, because it's got the cake, it doesn't taste really ooey and gooey no it's, it's good it's perfect tasty. amount yep and then don't you didn't you have that apple cheese tart oh thing? that bavarian tort thing. yeah that's yeah. really good i always say that's that's the um cake i got a hug from a stranger at work because he liked it so <laughs> that's much that's the one <laughs> he's like going up and down the aisles asking people who made it and he's like whoever made it i just have to give them a hug <laughs> Like, okay. Mm. Okay, and then uh, Nadine's last question was, what would be your dream vacation? Mm. My dream vacation, I would love to go to the European Christmas markets. Oh. In fact, I think we should do that. We should do that. <laughs> that Okay, that would be a dream vacation. Mm-hmm. I have more than one. That I, would be I, fun. I, well, we always talk about going to Greece. We. We kidded about doing that instead of like doing a big wedding, and it's how many years later <laughs> we've never been there. But they had the big wedding. <laughs> we did. In hindsight, I'm like, oh, stupid girl. Oh, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, the Christmas markets would be really fun. I've never been to Europe, so I mean, I'd love to go to Italy, like northern Italy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I go. I like to go to London. Australia, but I don't want to sit on a plane that long. I know, that's a long, long yeah. trip. Yep. So, any of those. Um, then let's see. I know they were... Okay, so Kim asked, how many hours a day do you craft? <laughs> Me? Well, I, she asked both of us, oh. but... Oh, it's hard to say, because unfortunately, I work during the day, so... You know, if it's nighttime, maybe, I mean, my ideal night, if I have nothing going, is maybe four hours. Um, It just depends. Like, if I have a weekend day where I have nothing, I could stitch for, like, (laughs) 8, 10, 12 hours and half. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I just, it's just fun for me. It's very relaxing, and I love to see what I can get done. I usually, uh, I'll do it. I don't know, per day, and again, the days kind of vary depending on what you have to do, but I'll spend, like, most of the day up here in the craft room, Mm -hmm. um, quilting or stitching or something, and then at night, I go downstairs, and I'll stitch the whole night if, it, like you said, if you Mm -hmm. have nothing going on, and And sometimes even, like, into two in the, two in the morning, I'll stitch. I know, like, (laughs) because I just want to... Get it done. Well, and it's, you know, you have something good on TV to watch. And yeah, you can watch for side one right yeah. after the other. And those darn Netflix shows, yeah. you know, they get to a really good point at the end. And then it stops. But you can go to the the next episode oh, yeah. comes on right away. So then you can see what happens. But, yeah. Yeah. So... Okay, and then um, Kim also want to know if, if you nab the new quilt. <laughs> it's still on the wall. 
Wait, is there a, no, that's the same one. Oh, there's a really pretty new one up on the board. I didn't even notice. Yeah, that one is. That's really it's different gotta be than cut. your colors. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It has not a single bit of red in it. So I. Yeah. I think we'll just turn you, and then you can probably see. Okay. Can you the see the one it? underneath the flag? It's like golden blue. Yeah, that's um for class. Same with the, Did the they say locks on the side. Couldn't use red? No. Oh. Gonna, <laughs> Have you ever made that? a non red one? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, a lot of these are non red. I mean they have red in them. Right. But I've never but seen one. I that made had. I I don't think I ever showed, but I did do like a a blue and white one. Oh, that's just I don't a basket. Think I've ever seen yeah, that. that sounds pretty. Yeah, but this one, the, the pattern for class is that's um, Joe Morton and um, Kim Deal have a book out that's Simple Friendships too, and that's out of the book. Um, Joe Morton did it in these blues, which I happen to have all these like blue indigo fabrics mm -hmm. and I thought oh, perfect for this yeah. little quilt and then she set the squares instead of the cheddar color she used like a tan and I'm like I didn't have any tan in my mm -hmm. <laughs> my fabric and so I thought I have this cheddar I'm gonna look to see and then I did a thing on Instagram because mm -hmm. I had the cheddar and I had a yellow one and and it was almost unanimous with the cheddar so, well, that's funny. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, well, because I have like um, in our cabin I made curtains upstairs and I used a tablecloth. Oh, um, perfect! They're just like little balances, but it's it reminds me of like a French provincial type fabric, and it's like the buttery yellow, oh, like pretty. that color blue, and it's just Very I love pretty. any of that, you know. Across the color wheel yeah I do too contrast. I like the blue with that with that yellow so yeah well, we're really getting off I know. the track well, here. see we said oh, well. we don't talk before and, and we have like such we a talk. parade to show you <laughs> yeah so just we should if, if you're bored like just fast forward at yeah. this point because just go ahead when, um when we start to hold up stuff then you can stop yeah and I think that's about it I think this one I can do when it comes up Okay. Um, that's it. A lot of people, ballparks have stitch and pitch. <laughs> yeah. And so I've never, t I've never been able to go when they've had it here, but I would, I would definitely do that. Well, I would, I guess I would if there were other people stitching. I just, I don't know. I would feel like funny doing it by myself. Uh, see, I, I would do it, but only like, like if. Like, sometimes we go to a game during the week, mm -hmm. and we'll sit up in the rafters, and there's nobody around because it's during the week. Right. I would definitely bring bring it there. Mm -hmm. We're going to the game on Friday with a bunch of people. I will. I would not do right. that because you're going with a bunch of people. Right. And so, that's it. I would never sit, like, behind home plate and <laughs> stitch. You'd never, be on ever. You'd be on TV, and we'd be like, <laughs> look at that woman. She's stitchy <laughs> on TV. How come she's not watching? <laughs> So, okay, let's get on to the main thing. The whip, whip, whip. Well, let's go, let's see, we usually go haul. Oh, I have no haul. Do you have haul? I, you know, I do, but I don't think I have it here. I do. Oh, yes. I have a little bit of haul, just a couple patterns, because I had an order from 123 Stitch. I got uh, Patriotic, Patriotic Trio. By Waxing Moon Designs. I bought this. Ooh, I had to. I the blue flower, one. the acorn. That's really This pretty. was a market release, and I know everybody has seen that before. Then I just thought this is Needle, needle Bling Designs. This little oh, that's fall cute. welcome. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. And I've been looking and looking at this. This is Heartstring Sampler, Beth Twist. This is Baby It's Cold Outside. I like that one. I, I just. Yeah. Keep seeing it, and I have to to get it. I also I like that song too. I me too. 
And I got some vintage smoky white. Oh, that's pretty. Cashel. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. I don't know. It's just kind of getting washed out. Do you know what you're going to use it for? No. Hmm. And then um, summer khaki. And this, I know what I'm going to do with it, but I can't remember right now. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and then I thought this looked pretty interesting. Um, this ancient Belfast linen. That's a pretty combination. Yeah, I thought that looked pretty. And that's maybe you could stitch too. some Halloween on it. <laughs> Barb knows I Leanne do doesn't Halloween. decorate for Halloween. I, I don't, well, I'm, I, I might. Just last year I didn't. Oh. And then I needed floss, lots of pretty colors. Mm. Every color had a purpose. Now just to figure out. What yeah, it is. I know that's my problem. I'll make a list and then it's like, what does this yep. belong to? And needles. Are those the Bowen? Bowen? Yeah. And what are they? Twenty four and twenty two. Oh. Is the smaller number bigger than the I always get confused I, with that. I always do too. Because it's opposite of fabric. So the smaller number is the bigger needle. Smaller number is Right? The Doesn't that look like that? It does. No. Like the 22, doesn't that look bigger than that one? Yeah. Like eye-wise? Oh, I see. The small, yeah, you're right. Never okay. mind. Okay. All righty. Okay, then we got whips. Okay. Works in progress. All righty. Go ahead, Barb. Um, Whip it up. So I hauled <laughs> this one out that I haven't had out in a while. It's called Season's Greetings by Teresa Colgate. And aren't you proud that. of me? I said her name correctly. <laughs> I think I'm over it finally. Yay. Um, and I gave him his tie and the color on his hat and started a little bit on the border. I'm like, what the heck is that? It's the border. <laughs> That's the bottom part of him. So I, I like the variegation in him. Yeah, a I lot. think he's really cute. Yeah. So it was kind of, I don't know what possessed me to bring him out one night, but I'm like, it's fun working on him. I wish, like, I didn't have so many other more seasonal things that oh, I should yeah. be working on. But so, and then, should I keep going? Or do you oh, yeah, go? keep going. Okay. Um, Janie had sent me this cute pattern, Springhouse Trio by Waxy Moon Designs. Those are cute. And I started on uh, the Yellow House. Um, I'm debating whether I want to put the word flowers on there or just do um, just do like the flower vine all the way down. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought I'd leave that for last. Oh yeah. Um, yeah it's easier to decide. That house is so pretty. But yeah, I I don't think I'm using all the col for colors. I just kind of look for things that were similar. And I'm hoping the rest of it will go quickly because I think it's a cute little thing. Yeah, I do too. And then this pattern, Prairie Schooler Rabbit Run. I have loved this one forever. Um, I think I bought this, like, it was one of the first charts I bought when I was getting back into oh, really? stitching. And I always thought that I would do it for Easter, but I haven't gotten too far. So you're but doing it for Easter. I am. You're just it's not a, finishing yeah, it. Yeah, I'm Easter. just not finishing it. But I'm kind of like, there's a lot of the gray. So, you know, whenever I have my needle threader with gray, I'll just start in a new section. And then I'll try to bring in the color around it. But as you can see, I haven't gotten too far. But I'm loving it. I, I know the more... Further along I get in the pattern, I'm just going to have fun with it. Yeah. So, that's it for me. Okay. So, I have... Um, let's see. I think I have this all mixed up. Okay. As you know, or I, I think you do, <laughs> I'm working on Prairie Schooler Santas. And so, I have this one, the Santa I got from Connie. And I kind of got them started. I'm one row off on the world. Uh oh. I, I skipped like a whole row. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going with it. It seemed like the red 
this red is working out good and I'm like, I'm fine with it. Where's... Here's, this is going to be the world right oh, here. Oh, in his hands. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. <laughs> Break out the song, No, Barb. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> and then... <laughs> go ahead. And then this is um, the Scarlet House. And this, oh, this is, is American beautiful. Farmhouse. And oh, I just absolutely love this on this fabric. Yeah. So I got my house done, and now I'm working over on this side. Is that side. 32 count? I, oh, don't, I think we've asked this before. I have it. It That's says it's 36 count. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be a challenge. And I don't it, think I've ever... It really isn't that... No? It isn't that bad. I, I don't know why, but it really isn't. Because you're only using one thread. Oh, yeah. When you're stitching with one thread, it is it, wonderful. I would think it would go faster, because you're not worried about lining those up as much. It is. It does. It's just so much easier. Okay. And then I was surprised to see other people working on this or why, because this is a really old chart. This is the Weeping Trees Sampler. That's beautiful. By the City Stitcher. And, I mean, I think this is a 1984. Um, yeah. 19... 1994, oh. not 84, 94. And this is how far I got on it. Oh, it's beautiful. I got the Weeping Willows done. I've got a lot of the alphabet in there. Mm -hmm. I think I got the whole alphabet done. Yeah, I did. Nice. And so, and I'm doing this all in DMC, except for the leaf colors. I changed it to seaweed because it was a variegated thread. Mm -hmm. um, they had three different... DMCs and I'm like I'm not changing DMC See, colors yeah. for six stitches right. like that right so I thought well, I'm just gonna idea. use variegated mm -hmm. and um, it's it's working I, I really like it mm -hmm. and so wow beautiful that's that's it for whips okay do you have FOs? so FOs yes I do not you have no FOs I have no FOs oh Ooh, and she's got finish. I have finishes, although some That's of mine right. are kind of small, so don't be too impressed. That's, yeah, but still. They're still finishes. Okay, Prairie Santa. Which one is this one? 2006. I got him finished. And I... Um, let's see. Yep, I got that one. And then um, Prairie Schooler 2016. I'm just going kind of willy-nilly, whatever I feel like mm -hmm. stitching. And I, the words are not in it. I am not putting words in my um, prairie schoolers. I don't think they need them. I, I mean, don't either. And so I'm just not putting them in because they're only backstitched in there. And you can't, this fabric is really hard to backstitch. Yeah. So you have 14 done. Um. Yeah, I had 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Only 16 to go. So, and then. Oh, look at that. I, I got out of Sweet Land of Liberty. <gasps> I started and finished this. Wow. Um, what is this called? American Eagle. Love that. Um, this is it right here. And I finished it. That's beautiful. So, yeah, I kind of was working on this pretty much every night. Mm hmm. Until I got it done, which I absolutely love this. So gorgeous. I'd like to put that in a frame. Mm -hmm. It's frame worthy. It's frame worthy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's it for my FOs. Now okay. FFO. Okay. Barb's yeah. got the parade. Yeah, going. I've got the parade. Huh? <laughs> um, many of you have watched our video, finishing video. Um, this is Winter Time by New York Dreamer, and I just, I love everything about this. The fabric on the back, courtesy of Leanne, and the ruching. It turned out, Leanne. yours turned out really nice. So, um, yeah, I was really happy with it. I have to say that was harder than I was expecting it to be. It, it It's not hard, it's time consuming. Well, I just didn't find it... I don't know. Like it's I didn't not find fun. it enjoyable. No. Like usually I love handwork and I don't know. Because I, I think you kinda are, you got too much going on right. at the same time. Right. 
Then um, I'm doing the Lizzie Kate um, Seasons, and this is spring. So this is my trivet board that you'll remember that I did the winter time on. And it's rather ironic because I changed a lot of the colors. I added a cherry tree instead of the tall trees. Um, I changed the color of the spring. Well, it started out, I didn't want a purple house. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, like, there's a lot of purple on this. But I, I sent Leanne, like, pictures of different fabric combinations. And I, I must have had, like, maybe ten different combinations. Some of them I didn't even send you. And I don't know. This I, I was going to do the stripe for the background. And then, I don't know. I just changed my mind and I went with the purple. You and know, and I think... Yeah, it just it looks really good. I'm yeah, I'm real happy with it. It and just kind of pops on that. I found this little berry thing just to wrap around the frame top, and Call so it a day. my trivet is done for spring. So that one I'll move on to um, summer next, I guess at some point. Um, then. I've been doing a prairie year, the prairie schooler ones, and I have April and May done. So that's the rabbit and the May basket. Um, Did you do March? No, because I didn't oh. start them yet. Oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. So... Oh, that's this really cute. This is my little April. Oh, that's cute. And I just did a little heart on the back. Because, I don't know, for these small ones, I find it easier just to slit it. Yeah. Um, but this one, I have so many errors on that I just kept working around, like, with finishing. <laughs> um, so, like, I forgot to leave. I don't know why. I, I didn't leave enough here so then I needed to go right up to the the line instead uh. of like having a margin um I forget what else I did wrong something here that I covered up with the little lace I just glued it on like make it work before I stitch this together but um then I was steaming it I used like Aileen's glue and then it started coming off oh but you know in the end um I don't remember what I did. Something something was wrong on the back too, but it's like yeah, it I fine. think it's cute. Yeah. And this one was my even bigger blender. <laughs> um I'm not sure about the the ribbon, but this is what I had. So it's pretty. Um the basket is gorgeous. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. And then I just have um a little rosebud print on the back. Now had I pick this out before I probably would have used maybe slightly different colors but the reason I have the ribbon I was going to slit the back oh, and I slit the, the front. front so I'm like mm, we'll just put a little ribbon on it it'll be Nobody fine you'll know so you know sometimes your mate mistake inspires you to finish something a little different yeah. and it still works yeah how many times have we done that I just remember Doing crafting and painting dolls' faces, mm -hmm. and if paint would drip somewhere oh. on the doll, yeah, that was a heart. <laughs> Just made <laughs> right it into a heart. <laughs> That's a good way to look. Yeah, um, I'm kind of like discombobulated here because I have hats and finished projects, and um, just looking for my. Well, anyway, oh here it is. Um, well, I'll show this one. So, um, this many of you have seen this, and thanks to one of our viewers, she's, when I was trying to, I bought this from um, Goodwill, I think. It was in just a little oak frame, you know, was the era that it was from. And then, like, the bunny, and I think it was mostly the bunny, didn't really show up. Um, very much. So then I tried like back stitching them and then his tail didn't show up. You know, it's just like everything I tried wasn't working. Yeah. I was going to paint the um, the frame white and then someone commented, they're like, why don't you make it into a pillow? And it was like, ding! 
<laughs> Why don't I make it into a pillow? The room I, just got I, brighter. I would have never thought of that. So, you know, this is this is really bright, but um I, I think it's like, adorable. And I had bought this rick rack and I'm like, oh, well, it was kind of picks up the green in the guy. And then I thought, well, I'll stuff it like I'll slit the back and I'll stuff it. And so I just put that little egg contrast on. But as you can see, the egg is upside down. So, but like, who would but know you got that? scattered eggs on the background, know, so, so it's a, just a scattered egg. Maybe the egg was upside down. Maybe it was. was, you know. All right. So then we go on to uh, flip it. This the stamp Lizzie Kate. Oh, is that cute? And I have April. And many of you know that I used the plaid background for many months, but I couldn't use the plaid anymore because it's April. Easter. And so I had to go with Pastelli. That looks good too. And I just, I did different, different colors than the pattern called, you know, and some of the same shades, but I happened to come home with this Easter egg fabric and it was close enough. So I'm like, well, that's what it's going to be. I like that. So that's I'm, really cute. I'm happy with that. It looks real springy. Um, this is with. But the... wait, there's more. Oh yeah. So how many is that? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Seven. One. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, because I had eight. So this I have to I have to tweak because I was doing this real fast last night. But this is. Um, with the needle and thread bunny and company and i just decided to go with the simple frame i like that and i love 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 it i need to rework on the stretching i just kind of did it real quick and it's not yeah not i had a piece I that i had it all stretched and i just didn't like the way that it looked and i'm like okay i took it all apart and yep. redid it yeah and i i really didn't have the time last night to be doing it so i'm like well this will give you the idea of how to look very cute and yeah i'm really happy i found the frame at michael's so you know i was surprised that they had some that weren't your traditional sizes but i guess they're sized for like digital photos so never knew that. Yeah. Do you remember what size that frame is? Um, it I is it odd. twelve by. Let's see, my piece was seven by eleven. It was eight by twelve. Oh, okay. So, um, for future reference. Yeah, I wonder if. Um. Then small. this was. Oh. I can't remember the name of this. I got this as a PDF off Etsy, but I made this for a friend of mine. Um. She has like a vintage pink and gray kitchen. And what does it say? Coffee first. Crazy, crazy schemes, schemes later. later. Oh, that is great. Well, and it was. That is really cute. It was supposed to say evil schemes. And I'm like, oh, you know, evil's kind of mean. Yeah. So I went with crazy and it was easy to change out the letters. But that's really cute. It's a flat fold. So you I thought, did a really good job on that. Thank you. Um, I changed the some of the colors like i think she was supposed to have a blue mug but i thought i know she has green in her kitchen so oh, that looks really cute um and she's gonna love that i forgot i should have showed this how i wrapped the ribbon but basically all i do is i took the string and i took the thin thin satin ribbon and at the start of it i just took my tacky glue and held it together and just lightly as I was winding it around lightly put glue down ah. and then there were places where the ribbon was slack from the string and then when I glued it on I just twisted it more and it took the slack out oh. so um it's pretty easy well, you might have to do a tutorial yeah. on that and just some like like little finishes because yeah. there was something else somebody yeah. asked about doing oh your x is around the outside oh yeah yeah so yeah we might have to do that so that's the end of my parade oh man so yeah sunday well it snowed here so it was a good day for finishing rather than gardening in april oh yeah you couldn't do well it snowed twice last week yeah it's crazy so but that's it well i I'm just cute. I got a few things done. Oh, so cute. I did, um, I don't think, I didn't show this. I showed it as an F already. Right. 
this is a pledge of my affection and I don't have the pattern. It's by um, Blackbird Design and um, Barb was talking about the edging and this is what I did. I just did like a cross stitch. That's really cute. All along and then I of one of the colors of the words and then I just did a ribbon right along the seam. I just like kind of stitched it in. Like you can see like this little another a lighter color right along the seam of floss. Oh, I I, th I was looking for a ribbon. No, on floss I meant. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's really so, cute. But that's I would think that would I be did. challenging to sew that. No, no, because I didn't care if it was crooked or not. I mean, it's not perfect, mm. but who cares? Right. No, it looks And really I thought good. if it just fit perfectly with this pillow. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect finish for so, it. So, and then I did, I found a frame for nest, and of course it didn't fit, but then I did that a solution. This is also Brenda Gervais. Um, where is this? Oh, Where Hearts Rest, this is called. Really cute. But it, it was, I had extra fabric, so I just kind of put it all the way down. And I liked um, using this stuff just to kind of stitch along. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it looks good. Well, and that would be another good thing to demonstrate, because I'd like to know how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, we could do those, just yeah, those little, little quick things. finishes. And then, left in Ooh, my basket... More. Something for Barb! Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm glad I brought you something. Yeah, I gotta show you what Barb brought me. Oh, this little chick, isn't he cute? I um, I never knew I liked Cadbury eggs until, well, I didn't know they existed until Leanne used to put them in my kids' Easter <laughs> baskets. And I'd be like, hmm, I love they're these good. things. What are they? And they're just, they're like a hard powdery shell mm -hmm. and like, chocolate inside yeah. it's not like the those creamy things. no it's not no. the creamy eggs I it's just like chocolate that. wow but i yeah, thought you had another good. ffo in your basket <laughs> no that was it i am um, that was it i am done i have um i have a need of a consult okay um so many of you remember this one somewhere in my pile you want to hold that up okay this is Spring Delivery by Brenda Gervais. And I think quite a few people have been stitching mm -hmm. this. Well, oh, I found, I remember another mistake on my made on my thing, but oh. it's this guy. And I, re I found these fabrics that I really like with it. Uh, do you want me to, yeah. do you want me to hold this hold that and then? One. You can there that's perfect so like this and this I was thinking about making it into a pillow but like maybe putting little bands of the fabric, fabric. around it yeah I but would that, that would be too cute. busy or mm -hmm. should I use like should I do go around it with the darker and then after that go with the lighter or just one fabric I I I like the darker around better mm -hmm. because it gives it more of a frame. Contrast, right. And it's less busy. And then you can always put the lighter on okay. after the darker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I was yeah. thinking. So have you ever bordered one before with well, a pillow? I think it's just like the, the little pillows that you've done. Oh, so now should I tell my mistake on my other one? If you look closely at this fabric, I thought it was carrots. I really think it's peppers. <laughs> oh, like chili peppers. Like chili peppers. And the first time I saw it, I didn't buy it because I thought, oh, that's chili peppers. Second time, I just thought, oh, it's a good color. Then then it was meant to be because it, it really matches perfectly. And then on this one, I accidentally put the chili peppers upside down because I was just thinking it was a pattern. So. Well, just let's say it is a pattern. What yeah. difference does it make? Well, no, I guess chili peppers I, I really can be upside like down. Um, yeah, so maybe I will I'll I try it that, that way yeah. and see how it Cause turns I out. Because I think this, like, 
when you put this, it just, that whole piece, it just kind of looks dull, like it blends yeah. into each other. Yep. Where I, when you add this, then you got a stopping point. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, okay, yeah. there it is. Well, and that would be good. I'll sew that, those strips on first and then reevaluate. Yeah, and then if you want to put those on, you can. Or just use it for the use backing. Use that and does that, oh, does yeah. that color match? I don't know. Not no, really. No, not really. And then I we were looking at th this Rick Rack and it doesn't really match. And this is maybe too much of the same. Yeah, that's kind of it kind of it kind of matches those colors in here. Mhm. Mm so that might I don't know. Oh, you know, and you asked me, I don't think I told you this, but you asked me if I used the call for colors cuz mine looked different. Yeah. And I figured out what I did. Um, because I, I think it calls for 36 count fabric and I think I used 32, so I did two over two. Oh. So I have more coverage. That's so, it. Okay. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Eureka. Yeah, see, that turned out really, really cute. I really like that. Yeah, so I'm happy with it. Yeah. And hopefully I'll get it done soon. Yeah. Maybe not before Easter, but it's not. It's spring to me, like it's a rabbit. I Yeah, see, to me, a lot of things, unless it's... I don't even think you have, unless it says April on it, right. I would just leave it. Right. Oh, you leave can it leave out. it year round, really. Yeah. Um, and I did do the outline in the kind of this color. I don't know. It still doesn't really set up, but I think it differentiates enough. So it's going to be She's good talking enough. about by the ear. By the ears into the basket. To differentiate between the basket and the ear. And I just love what I had for the basket in. I'm like, you know, sometimes it's good enough. Especially something that I'm not going to necessarily have out year round. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, that's all I had. That was quite a journey on that parade there. I know. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm kind of tired out. <laughs> so we kind of just have... Um, Let's see. Okay, I have one thing for um, Stop the Floss I want to get off. Do you have anything? I just have something to talk about. Oh, okay. Show yours. Can I do this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Lost Stop the Floss. I did this. Oh, that's cute. Stitchery, like a couple years ago. Really cute. And this is um, Lisa Bonjean pattern. But it's, I always bring it out now this time of year. Oh, it's really cute. Yeah, I really like it. This is wool applique. Is it the same pattern on yeah. both ends? Okay. Yeah. And then just some stitching. Mm, really cute. So, got that. And we have this. Mm -hmm. And what? I just Where been... is your thing going to fit in? Oh. You want to do it now? Well, I. Was... We'll do this last. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, my stop the floss was I'm making Easter cookies, but I'm also making a lamb cake. Oh. And. <laughs> Everyone, I don't know, if you don't know what a lamb cake is, like people think it's like a cake out of lamb meat, but no, it's it's like a pound cake that you use a traditional um, lamb shaped mold mm -hmm. to create this lamb. And he's, he's kind of like a lamb laying down, so he's his head is turned sideways and his body goes like this and it heads up yeah. there. Well, and I don't, I don't, you know... I'll have to, I'll, I'm going to insert some pictures at the end of this video. Then you can see mm -hmm. what it was, what they're like. And, and both Barb and I have made them before. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. My mom made it always when we were growing up. She had, you know, this recipe, the frosting recipe, and she would always decorate it really pretty, like soft, creamy frosting. And then she put like a little wreath of flowers around the little guy's neck and you know the tinted coconut base but when I started taking it over I don't know <laughs> 10 or 10 or 12 years ago it's a while ago I don't know what I made one that was traditional looking lamb but on the inside I made him bright red and then <laughs> I made one really punky looking but on the inside he was the traditional color oh. and so then we we asked like people which one they wanted and so they were shocked the one who didn't want to venture on the crazy decorated one <laughs> were shocked to get this red cake tastes the same but that kind of morphed into then every year I started doing a theme <laughs> and so we've had cakes that were like um 
Lady Baba, um, a lamp shade, Barack Obama, um, last year was Abracadabra, <laughs> kind of a magician, magician in Vegas theme. theme. <laughs> no, that was two years ago. Um, we've had Lambo Field. Oh, that was that. Uh, that was the Aaron Rodgers. Aaron one. Rodgers. E. Aaron with an E because it was a female looking oh. one. Um, because of the bow. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, what else did you have? What was oh, the clam? Clam bake. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that was a good one too. Um, if I can find some pictures, I'll, I'll yeah, give send them to, them to me and I'll put them at the end yeah. of the video because so, they're kind of fun. So, anyways, I'm thinking of my theme. It's always a secret. Um, last year was a dud. It was. I, I felt like a Pinterest fail. I didn't even post it anywhere. Yeah. It was supposed to be flambe but my frosting never really set up and so the guy looked like he was melting it was just this well, awful flam well, and that's what someone said how fitting you know yeah. he would be if he has flames coming out of his bath so anyways but it's always even my family will go well what's barb's theme this oh. year <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, you know, the last couple of days I've had people start, like, pinging me, like, oh, what's the lamb going to be? So you don't know? Oh, I do know, oh. but I just don't share yet. Well, because there might be somebody on here that would know. Um, perhaps. Oh, well, maybe your sister would watch it. Yeah, I don't She's know. the only one, right? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It'll, It'll be just a secret. Be a secret. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> So, stay tuned. Yeah. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Next time, find out what the lamb was. <laughs> uh, because I, I'll i post this before your lamb cake will be done. Right. But yeah. if you find old pictures, then I, I can post. Or I could throw one on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Like, later. Yeah. Easter. <laughs> Easter. <and> Easter. <laughs> if it turns out. Take the picture. It's a lot picture. of pressure. <laughs> so. so, then... We, or, what? Or did you have never have I ever? Oh, never have I ever. Um, do you have a never have I ever? I do. Oh. Never have I ever had a co-worker, had to explain to a co-worker the difference between embroidery floss and dental floss because they picked a piece of floss off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever? No. No, I haven't. Mm. I just had that treat the other day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm like, oh, it's floss. And they're like, dental floss? I'm like, no, it's bright green. It is not dental floss. <laughs> That'd be easy yeah. to find. <laughs> yeah. Oh, talk about being a little embarrassed. I'm like, okay, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Those darn pieces get caught all yeah. over. So now we're ready. Now we're ready. Well, we reached our goal for subscribers mm -hmm. and our number was 1,976 the year we graduated which we were so thrilled about at the time because all of you older people will know it was the bicentennial year of our country and everybody was so like like crazed oh, up about yeah. that. It was like we just thought that was such a cool thing. And didn't we have an extra little, like something on our tassel? It, like it was it a been like a flag or something? Something, that, something like patriotic. Yeah. So it was kind of fun. Yeah. So. So that was a long time ago. So we were gonna do a giveaway when we reached that number. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't look today at all, but we have. Well surpassed that number yeah. over two thousand. Yeah, which I can't it's, believe. It is pretty bizarre. We're, just... we're very grateful. Um, <laughs> blah blah blah. You know, you've heard the speech from other people. It's like, okay, shorten it up. <laughs> it is. It is kind of funny, and it, it's fun to read people's comments and see mm -hmm. that they're engaged and and they don't, might not comment each time but right. it, it's just it's just fun you start to recognize you know a lot yeah. of the names and and i'll do that with other floss mm -hmm. i'll do something like oh what did i do oh what was that and i thought of them i can't oh i wish i could remember what it was <laughs> and i'm like oh amy loves toads mm -hmm. when i was doing the bricks on on my willow tree mm -hmm. house, 
I thought of Amy because I know I watched Amy and she said she liked doing bricks because her dad was a bricklayer. Oh. And so it's weird. I've never met this person <laughs> and I, I don't even comment on her videos very often, but I wrote that. And I do watch you, Amy. That's I was paying attention. That's why I knew that. And oh. and so I thought of her and when she commented, then I told her that I did. So it yeah. was kind of fun. So yeah. So thank you to new subscribers, our founding members. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> we have a little giveaway. Mm -hmm. And our giveaway is going to be, since our number was uh, 1976, it's going to be patriotic. And it's going to be this patriotic trio by Waxing Moon Designs. And we decided to, a to pick three of the colors that were in it. So we picked um, dungarines. Oatmeal and raspberry parfait. So we have those three. Pretty. Yeah. And this is the best part, you guys. Are gonna and love then that. I wish I was the winner. <laughs> to house your project, you need a project bag. So I made a project bag and it's patriotic. And so all that stuff will fit in there. And I I will, I did have extra fabrics and I did make, I will make a couple extras. So if you don't win and you want one, I'm on Etsy, um, Harvest Moon by the Lake. And this is what you'll be getting. Cute, cute, cute. So we did not. We didn't think, think of a question, but maybe we maybe we should say when did you graduate high school? Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll make us feel better <laughs> or a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I you know I for some when I look at our um, analytics, mm -hmm. it it always has like people that are in our age that are right. watching us. Right. But I know for a fact that there's like young <laughs> college boys. <laughs> I haven't graduated yet. <laughs> yeah, that I've watched. <laughs> but, but are they commenting? No, they are not. <laughs> and they're just my, my son every once in a while. One of his friends will say something. But um, but yeah, so I'm not sure that's even right. But I'm... Yeah, well, I'm, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, so Although, so I'm answer, if you, if you want this, then answer the year you graduated high school. Please don't say giveaway, gift away, anything, prize, nothing like mm -hmm. that. You have to be 18 years of age or older to join in. Right. And if you're a subscriber, that'd be great. Yeah. And yeah, let us know. We'll pick a we'll pick somebody out by the ne by our next video. So I'm gonna give you two weeks. Yeah. Probably. Right. Because we've been kind of running on a two week schedule. Right. Um, you gotta, you gotta answer us by then. Mm -hmm. And, and or also... wait, no, we'll pick a name in two weeks. Duh. <laughs> because we won't. <laughs> oh, we'll let them know in two weeks who won. Cause... In two weeks, we'll let you know who won. And then after that, you got like a week, week or two to, to yeah. respond. Just because, you know, as many floss tubers have encountered, like, you pick someone and sometimes they don't respond. Yeah. So you want to keep up with those things yeah. so you can give your things away. Yeah. So So if anybody wants that, Waxing Moon Designs, Patriotic House Trio. Can I enter? <laughs> <laughs> I like no. the bag. I like the chart. <laughs> I know. Well, I bought one too. So Well, maybe I'm I'll do get that. one too. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's, that's, that's all I it. got. Well, I think we've had plenty today. I think so, too. We're at a like... minute 13, so oh, holy moly. Uh, I'll have to delete. I always kind of, or not a minute 13, an hour 13. <laughs> oh, that's a quick one. <laughs> it was a hot minute. Yeah. Um, it seemed like an hour. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they just drag on and yeah. on. But I always try to keep it about an hour. Mm -hmm. Although, if we could do a short one, that would be fine, too. But right. it never happens. Right. So. Well. That's For it. those of you who celebrate Easter, have a happy, happy Easter. Easter. If not, 
I hope you celebrate the bunny anyways, because it's fun to yeah. get candy. Why not? And I'm sure you celebrate spring. Spring. I think we're, I finally got my first daffodil. So oh, I did feel, you? I feel like maybe it's on its way here. So I have little great. purple flowers in the backyard. Crocus? No. Oh. There's some, I don't, there's something really different. Oh, those different. anemone things? That might be what they yeah. are. I, They're tiny. Little, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Pretty. Yeah. But um, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>